Hello and welcome to your yoga practice today. My name is Chloe and as always I am so excited and just truly blessed to be here with you today to share the gift of yoga with you. So today we're going to be doing a beautiful little yoga set to focus on the heart chakra. So as we're becoming more and more familiar with the chakras and moving up the chakra centers, um, we find ourselves at the heart center, which is the energy center around our hearts. This is probably one of the most powerful energy centers that we have as it is our center of love, feeling, compassion, and connection to all that is, all living things. So our heart chakra connects us with all living things, nature, people, animals. It's the center that allows us to feel happiness, sadness, compassion. And it's such a powerful center because it opens us up to the ultimate life force energy that is love. Um, I truly believe that love is the fiber of all creation and it is that ultimate life force energy that runs through all things. And if we are closed off to that love energy, we cannot receive love, we cannot give love, and we can very clearly see when someone has a closed heart chakra. They'll be very cold, they'll have no empathy, no compassion, and not be able to um, fully express love or receive love. And when someone has an open and active heart chakra, they love nature, they love everyone around them, they're generous, they receive, and there's just this incredible flow in your heart center. So ways that you can kind of be aware that your heart chakra might be closed is if you're feeling sadness, if you've gone through a bit of heartache and you can feel yourself being closed off to receiving love and kindness and you're closing yourself off to giving love and kindness this these are very clear indicators that you have a blocked or closed off heart chakra and we really want to open that up so that we can express our fullness of love and receive our fullness of love because it is there for us always and it is only we who can make that shift so today i'm just going to introduce you to some beautiful yoga postures you can do to really open up the center and activate that energy. All right, so I hope you found your space. Grab your mat, find the space that works for you, and let's begin. We're going to start our practice today seated, and you can either sit on your knees like I am doing, or you can sit cross-legged. You can sit with your legs spread out, whatever really feels comfortable for you. We're going to start by just resting our hands on your knees, Gently rolling the shoulders back and closing your eyes, sitting up nice and straight, taking a deep breath in and out. And just come into a space of relaxation and of self-awareness. Beginning to forget about the world around you and forgetting about judgment. Letting go of judgment, of separation, of they said this, they did that. And just come into yourself. And just begin to bring your awareness to your heart and your heart center. And just observe how this space is feeling. Is it feeling perhaps a bit fragile, a bit injured? Is it feeling open and expanded? Just be aware. And we're going to take a deep breath into your heart. Holding that breath, pulling the stomach in gently towards the spine and breathing out. Another deep breath into your heart. Feel the heart sense of filling with fresh new energy, with unconditional love for yourself and all around you. And exhale. One last time, deep breath in. And out. We can then bring our hands into prayer at our heart centers. 
as we acknowledge and unify the gift of our body, mind and spirit. Taking a deep breath in, just setting an intention for your practice to open your heart to giving and receiving all the love that is. exercise I'm going to introduce you to is bringing your hands behind your back and you want to clasp your fingers together and really lift your arms as high as you can. We're going to inhale to extend the neck backwards, lifting your head and chest and lifting the arms as high as you can behind you, breathing in and exhaling down to the floor. Inhale, lifting up. And, and just begin to get into a nice flow here. Breathing in and out. If you have sensitive knees and legs, you can also do this cross-legged. You can also do this standing if you prefer. So breathing into your heart and exhaling down. Nice, deep, full breaths into your heart. If you want to speed it up, you can. Deep, full breaths of love into your heart. Beautiful. And we're going to take a deep breath in, lifting your arms up. Breathing in deeply into your heart and exhale all the way down, lifting your arms up and then just exhaling the hands down and stretching them as far forward as you can in front of you, dropping your forehead down to the floor and just taking steady breaths in and out. Beautiful, lovely. From here, we're going to bring your body forward into a cobra pose. So we're going to start here. And you really want to lift up through your head and chest. If you want to, you can lift your legs behind you, taking a nice deep breath, breathing in. And we're going to exhale back into our child's pose. If you want to, you can tuck the toes under and stretch down. So we're going to inhale and exhale. Breathing in forward, nice deep breath and exhale back. And just get into a rhythm that works for you as fast or so, slow as you feel. Breathing in forward, exhaling So this is also working with our first three chakras, the first, second and third, and the heart and the throat. Hey kitty, got my kitty joining us. Breathing in forward, exhaling. Nice deep breath forward, and exhale back. You can just do this for as many or as few times as you feel. It's also very good for the digestive system and just for getting the energy flowing in your body. Breathing in and lovely. We can then come forward and just take a moment lifting up the chest, lifting up the neck, taking a deep breath into your heart. And exhale down. My darling, you're gonna have to move now. Come, 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 come. 
Okay, so then coming to lie down on your stomach, we're going to lie all the way down, clasping once again your hands behind your back. And we're going to breathe in to lift up the head and chest. You can lift your legs as well, breathing in, lifting the arms up, exhale down. Breathing in, lifting up, exhale down. And just get into that nice rhythm once again. Breathing in and Beautiful. Just doing a few rounds, opening that heart, breathing into the heart. Lovely. Lifting the arms as high as you can. It's also really good for strengthening your back. Breathing in and lovely. We're going to then lift up to hold. Lifting up, holding, deep breath into your heart. And exhale down. Just resting your cheek on the floor, letting go of your hands. And just taking a moment to breathe. <sighs> Lovely. We're then going to bring our feet up behind us. Grabbing hold of your ankles. And we're going to do a few, it's called boat pose, boat pose. <laughs> so we're going to breathe in, you lift up your legs and your chest, breathing in here, and exhale down. Breathe in again, so lift up and just lift as high as you can. Don't overexert yourself, and exhale. And again, deep breath in, lifting up, and down. And again, breathing in, lifting up. Nice deep breath, hold, and exhale. Lovely. Let's just do two more deep breaths in. Open that heart, breathing into the heart. Exhale. Lovely. Last one. And we're going to hold it here. Just three breaths. And exhale down. Just relax for a moment, letting go. <sighs> Breathing in and out. Beautiful. Let's check where this kitty is. Beautiful. We're going to press back. And then come seated on your knees. We're going to open the knees about triangle width apart. Grabbing hold of your ankles. And we're going to breathe in to lift the body forward. Breathing in and out. If that feels a bit strong for you, you can also bring your hands on your hips and just lift to stretch the heart forward and down. So see what works best for you, either holding the ankles, stretching forward, or breathing in and out. So really opening up that heart, breathing in forward, exhaling down. And try to consciously breathe into the heart center. last one we're going to come up and just hold for a moment you can either keep your hands on your hips or take them behind your thighs or you can go into the full stretch grabbing hold of your ankles and just breathing here lovely and exhale down and just take a moment to close your eyes, taking a deep breath into your heart. And exhale. Another deep breath in. And out. And we're going to do just a few conscious breathings where we're going to inhale and just consciously breathing in unconditional love into your heart. 
and exhaling down to the heart. Breathing in unconditional love into your life, into all that surrounds you. And just a few more breathing unconditional love into your body, mind and spirit. Coming into forgiveness, into letting go, into compassion. And one last, one deep, beautiful breath. And exhale. Taking a deep breath into your heart. Hold the breath. And exhale. Lovely. We're then going to do just one more exercise where we bring our arms together so it's lovely. So just really activating this area of the body. Nice strong breath. doing this exercise just visualizing opening yourself to the giving and receiving of love lovely just a few more really good workout for the arms and the chest cavity deep inhale Filling your heart with all the love that is, with all the love that you are, that has created you, that surrounds you, and exhale. Just bringing your hands into prayer to your heart, breathing in unconditional love into every cell of your body. And as you exhale, sharing unconditional love with all that surrounds you. Affirming, I am love and I exist within unconditional love, always and forever. One last deep inhale. I am unconditional love and I exist within unconditional love, always and forever. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this class today. I hope you enjoyed it. So this is just a beautiful short sequence you can do in the mornings or the evenings and you can really make it as fast or as slow as you want it. I think that's what's so phenomenal about yoga is it's really about making it your own if you feel like you need more of a fast, fiery, um, yoga set you can speed these exercises up or if it's in the evening before you go to bed you can really slow it down bring your awareness deeply into the breathing and into the heart and make it a lot more of a deeper meditation so i invite you to experiment let me know how it goes if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask and i'm sure i will see you on another video soon much love and blessings to you always May you be open to all the love that is you and surrounds you. Namaste.